All right. I'm going to do a little video on how to mount or how I mount my hardtail bridges. Um, you got your neck and your body. I always make sure that it's screwed in during the mock-ups. And you pull down from the nut, you got your scale, whatever your scale is, and you draw a line there where that scale line is. And basically what I use, I use a piece of a fretboard, and you can see I have it marked here for three string, and I have a, a line right down the center of it. And what I do is I'll lay that piece of fretboard and use some painter's tape. I lay it on the fretboard, and then I take my square, and I put my square right on that line, down on that line. I slide the piece of wood back till it touches that. And then I tape that piece of wood down, or that piece of fretboard down over the other fretboard. Make sure it's nice and straight. And it is. Then I take my hardtail bridge and I have everything adjusted medium, you know, right in the middle. And when I say middle, the screw is right to the very back flush with the back of the saddles. And then I raise the saddles up. I run the screws down in the saddles until they're almost flush to get them up off the, off the bridge. And I'll lay that back there and center up that center saddle right with my line that I have drawn as my center line. Until right now I got those in a little crooked. So back that off just a little bit. There we go. All right. Well, I guess they should have been ready. And with these screws, I usually use a 332nd drill bit. All right, make sure you got that thing nice and centered. You can usually tell by all the saddles how they're fitting in there against that block of wood. I'll go ahead and run that first screw in. You don't want to run it in super tight, you just want to run it in kind of snug. You still want to be able to move the saddle a little bit. Then, I'll take my little square, my little T-square, put it against the back of the box. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right, there it is. Slide it down there. Make sure your bridge is square. And then go ahead and set in your second screw. screw down in I always mock my guitars up man so in other words I build the whole guitar and then I take it apart which it's kind of dumb but I do everything backwards I build my neck with the fretboard on it you know, a lot of people build their neck and then glue the fretboard on when they're done, but the way I do it, if you mess up, you mess up. Then you can go ahead and take all this off. Any boom, that's done. Then go ahead and drill your other two holes.
I've seen a lot of people make this a lot harder than it needs to be. Man, my thumb's still this sore, but it's getting better. Uh, they're pulling strings and all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, man, that's, that's a lot of extra work. I know a lot of times you're still guessing, but it's kind of hard. Kind of hard to uh, get out of square if you're if you're square all the way down your fretboard. And I go ahead and screw these on because uh, I just go ahead and run all the screws in. If if this was your finished job, this is the last thing you were doing was putting the bridge on before you mounted your pickup or whatever then this would be your final step pretty much but beans i do bottom feed strings i got to do all this and then i got to drill holes through the body and but there it is it's on there square square everything's square so that's a quick and easy way to mount your hardtail bridges. Um, pretty much the way I've been doing ever since I started. I really don't know how else to do it. But anyway, I've had a couple people ask how I do it. And that's pretty much how I do it. I just took a piece of an old fretboard. I even got it marked for five string, six string, and three string, and four string. And bitty boom, that's it. Sorry, it's not more exciting than that, but that's pretty much all it is. Have a good one, guys.